But here's the thing. It's a Western, but then every once in a while, not even dark comedy, just very bizarre kind of campy horror comedy pops up. And that's, a director's a horror person. So I guess that would, you know, it came from directing horror movies, but it's so sh bizarre. It's sort of strange. It's, 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 it just seemed out of place at the times it was done. And some of the acting is way over, way over the top. Ethan Hawke did a great job. I got to tell you what, John Travolta does an amazing job. Like, just does a great job. Great actor, big actor, and even with this role, not huge. I think the previews made it look like he was in it more. Still, I just, man, his his, uh, his presence, his ability to control uh, his screen time and all of that was really, really good. So just very impressed with John Travolta, uh, as always. But anyway, the, the parts that confuse me are the parts that a little bit of overtop acting that made it feel like a silly campy western and then some lines and just some dialogue and some way things were done it just was like it just seemed to kind of curve in and out it didn't seem to be as regular now i did like the movie i did actually really enjoy it i thought it was good but like i said it just was confusing to me another part that i thought from a directorial standpoint from a directing standpoint choice was there's this flashback to Ethan Hawke. We're trying to get some insight into maybe his past. And so there's some scenes that are happening at night, and we're seeing him and what he was going through as a soldier. And they lit it like a camera had a spotlight, like almost like it was a POV of a, a spotlight, like the spotlight would come on, very narrow field of view of this light right in their face and seeing this, which all makes sense except that it's a Western. There's... You, we don't have spotlights during this time. So it felt very out of place in how the flashbacks were shot that made them feel bizarre and weird because of the light. Should it have been done with fire or moonlight? I don't know, but to have a, I mean, it was like just a beam of light hitting like Ethan in the face and some people, you know, all that's going on, it was like you turn a spotlight on. So it was almost like you had the camera. It made you feel almost like some of those um, POV horror movies, the cheap ones where they're running around with the camera and doing those kind of things, like a Blair Witch type feel. It had a feeling like that, but it was like, huh? So it was really, it was bizarre. So In the Valley of Violence, liked the movie, really enjoyed the movie. Probably will see it one more time just because I want to see. Oh, there was one scene, though. I can put up with campy, and I can put up a little silly, and I can put up with confusion. All right, here you go. Big spoiler part. There is a shootout that happens in the middle of town between Gilly, who's really the bad guy. He's the deputy. He's the marshal's son. Uh, Ethan's character, uh, but Paul. And then the marshal, who is... Um, um, John Travolta, sorry. You know, I'm talking about a great John Travolta is, and then my brain shuts off. Can't remember his name. Anyway, John Travolta. John Travolta is standing in between Ethan Hawke and the bad guy, and they start shooting, and they just blow John Travolta. They just blow the marshal away. But not like, bang, bang, you fall down. It was like spinning around, spinning around, spinning around, pow, 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 pow spinning, 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 spinning. That was just, that really put it from, okay, here's a hardcore Western. Oh, okay, well, here's kind of a dark comedy Western. No, no, here's here's some lines and stuff that are weird. It's kind of a campy, kind of funny Western, sort of. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, this threw us way into another world of, that was bizarre. So that, that Destiny, what did you think of that Destiny? I, that one was just, that was a little too much for me. Like all of the, like Lawrence, I thought that was kind of funny. I think the fact that Tubby, they finally realize that he doesn't want to be called Tubby anymore and he's done with it. And the fact that he's standing by the window, all of that's goofy. All that dialogue leading up to that. Um, I Actually, I thought that was kind of good. I liked it. I love John Travolta's delivery in this movie. It was, it was really point on and it was really, really good. But uh, And even, even Lawrence's death was okay. But man, John Travolta's death was just, that was just a little bit much. Anyway, okay, what'd you think? So... I didn't like all of it. No, take that back. I liked the whole movie. I, some of the choices just confused me completely. But I did like it.